I'm gonna hike the Tour of Mont Blanc. I've wanted to go on this hike for roughly three years, and I finally get to do it this week. Tour of Mont Blanc is one of the most popular hikes in all of Europe, and it covers the countries of France, Italy, and Switzerland. It takes roughly 10 to 12 days to finish. That's about 105 approximate miles, depending on what routes you take. The Tour of Mont Blanc isn't hiking up the actual mountain of Mont Blanc. It's actually doing a full loop around the mountain. One of my biggest holdups about going on this hike was I didn't know much about it. Turns out there's a lot of companies that profit off of this hike. As I've been looking through some of these tour guides, what I've realized is it's expensive. I don't have the money for that. I have one resource that I'm going to rely on, and it's this book. I mean, I'll have my smartphone as well, but I don't know what type of service I'm going to get in the mountains. So figure it out, I guess. But it doesn't answer all of my questions. So what I've decided to do was, as I'm going on the trail, film my process, how I do everything, so that for others out there that don't want to go through a company and just want to do it on their own and save roughly $5,000, um, hopefully this will be a resource for you to do that. And this is going to be a tough hike, and it's going to be over multiple days, and if you feel like you need the assistance of a company to, to kind of help you along the way, I highly recommend it. You're just going to have to pay for it. But if you want to do this hike by yourself or with some friends without having to pay that extra money for a tour guide or for someone to shuttle your bags or anything like that, hopefully this is a resource to help you accomplish that. Keep in mind, I'm flying into Paris and then have to travel to Chamonix, which is where I'm going to start the hike. So I have two days before the actual hike begins and then after the hike, I'm going to be staying in London and in Paris for another eight days. So I actually have to pack quite a bit of stuff, not just for the hike, but for my whole stay. And I'm going to be packing that with me everywhere. So as I go through what I'm bringing in my pack, just know that you may or may not need some of it. I am definitely guilty of overpacking on every trip that I go on. So you'll see that in the video too and hopefully learn from my mistakes. I'm going to be doing this trail on my own. Nobody else is going to be with me. I haven't booked a single place to stay yet. I'm not packing any food, and I'm just going to kind of wing it. I immediately regret this decision. Other than that, let me show you what I'm going to bring in my pack, starting with my pack. Now, I'm going to Europe for roughly 21 days, and only 10 of those days are going to be on this hike. So I got to find something that can be in a plane with me, on a bus, on a train possibly and just hiking around through a city as well. The pack that I ended up buying was the Farpoint Day from Osprey. It's the 55 liter. Now there's a really cool thing about this pack and the reason why I got this pack. Front end comes off and has its own shoulder straps and becomes its own little backpack. So it's really nice that when I'm done with the TMB trail that when I'm in the cities I can leave my big pack in the hotel room or the hostel and then just walk around with this little guy. The other important thing that you're going to need is a water bladder. So this is from Osprey, it's a 3 liter, and from what I understand this will usually get you through each day once you fill this up. One more necessary item that you'll probably need is a sleeping bag liner. A lot of times you're going to be staying in little hostels or refuges and they're going to ask you to bring a sleeping bag liner because they do not provide you with sheets. Or if they do provide you with sheets, they don't clean them. And so this is gonna be the cleanest and safest way to sleep in those beds. And now a quick montage of everything else that I'm going to bring on this trip.
neidisch. Now a lot of people on this trail use poles and it's actually recommended. I will not be using poles because I'm actually going to be carrying this camera the whole time with me. And plus, I've never used poles. I'm sure it would help with my knees, but I'm youngish, so I'm not gonna use poles. I'm gonna do some things that are a little different than what the book suggests and what other people suggest. So take it for what it's worth. I just wanted to kind of show you what's on the trail so that you can prepare yourself for it as well. From what I've seen, there's plenty of places to eat along the trail. I'm just bringing a few of these little bars for the hike. I'm not bringing a lot. So make sure you bring an eye mask and some earplugs. You're gonna be possibly sleeping in a room with a dozen or so people. Um, just make sure that you are prepared for that. Make sure you have plenty of money. And I'm not just talking about credit cards, I'm talking about actual cash. A lot of these places are gonna be up in the mountains where they don't have access to do a credit card exchange, so they're gonna ask for most likely euros. Also, I didn't book any lodging, and I'm gonna have to buy all my food there, so I'm guessing a lot of my transactions are gonna be done in cash. So at the end, I'll kind of total it up and see how much money I actually spent and how much you might need to bring with you once you start the trail. That's it for the packing part. Now it's time to travel. Finally made it to Geneva. This is where most people will fly in to start the trail. Um, I actually flew into Paris and took a train here. So I'm gonna stay here for the night, gonna head to Chamonix tomorrow on a bus, and then start the trail. Good morning from Geneva. I'm on my way to catch a bus to get to Chamonix. And it's about an hour and a half drive from here. And that's it. All right, you can't see me, but um, just bought my lift ticket on that lift for $32.50 in euros, which is roughly $39 right now. Uh, you have to buy a ticket to go up and then a return ticket. Uh, the good news is I can use that return ticket whenever. I don't have to go up and come back on the same day. Holy cow, that's loud. Um, so when I get back in about nine days on the 14th of September, I can still use the same ticket on the way down. Unfortunately for anyone that's coming back after September 16th, this lift doesn't operate anymore. They close it down. So think of that when you're planning on going up and doing the trail is if you're gonna take the lift up or down, it stops mid-September. And I think that's it. Anyway, tomorrow's the day, 9 a.m. in the morning. Probably the longest day of hiking tomorrow. Roughly about 30 kilometers, um, or at least 28. I don't know what that is in miles. But it's gonna be a long day, so I'm gonna eat some good food and start. Definitely overpacked. I probably didn't need that many shorts or pants. My pack's heavy. I wore it all day. It's not fun. One. Three. Woo! <laughs>